Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the independent film called Extracted. Now, it's kind of a little bit uh, on the sci-fi basis to where we get a scientist who's developed a device that allows someone to explore another person's memories. You can actually crawl inside and take a look around at their memories, all right? But funding for this device is getting a little bit tight. Well, he finds out he could get some major backing if he helps out the Department of Corrections use this device to figure out if this accused murderer actually did the crime. Well, while a scientist is in there exploring in the memories, an accident happens and he ends up trapped in the mind of an accused killer. And we see what happens and how he tries to figure his way out of that. I really enjoyed Extracted, though it was a little bit of a slow-moving film. Now, it definitely is not a fast-paced movie, not a lot of action going on. So if you're looking for that type of film, Extracted may not be for you. But I really liked the dialogue and the subject matter of memories and exploring into someone's memories. But more so, there's also the uh, subject they touch on on brainwashing, or the idea of what truly is your memory and what might be uh, a memory from the power of suggestion, from being told something repeatedly or uh, you know how you can recall things and sometimes you can't recall things until you get a trigger I mean, all these different subjects on memory are explored in this film and I really found it interesting there's a lot of great interesting dialogue in here between Sasha Royce who plays Tom the scientist trapped in the accused murderer's brain and uh, between the accused murderer himself and the story of the accused murderer we get to learn about the character through the memories that the scientist witnesses so that's an interesting way to give some depth and background to a, a character is being it, having it told in these chunks of memory. So enjoyed that part of it as well. Uh, what's also great is they don't have speed right away. Like, oh, he's trapped in the murderer's brain and it's only like a month. No, there's a very long span of time that the scientist spends in the head of this accused murderer. And uh, so I like that angle of it as well. So really well written and thought out script, I thought. Now, there is one situation near the end that I was like, eh, really? But uh, the way they set up the film and the suspension of disbelief that they have in the rest of the movie really uh, lets you let that go and go, okay, yeah, I can kind of see that, you know. But you really kind of want this device to exist because it looks like it could be really cool, though also very dangerous, as you find out. Some great performances by all, by Sasha Royce, Jenny Mullen, uh, Dominic Bogard, who's playing the uh, Anthony, the accused murderer guy. And even look for Richard Ryell in here, who uh, was in Coffee Kill Boss. We saw him recently. Uh, if, an interesting interesting independent story that's not fast-paced, but touches on some subjects that may have you talking with your friends afterwards. I gave it three and a half stubs, folks. Uh, definitely check it out if you're looking for something different, a little bit of a sci-fi flair, uh, murder mystery. There's not a lot of gore in here, but there is a lot of interesting subjects that are touched on, and I think uh, if you're looking for that and don't mind a slower-paced film, Extracted is going to be for you. Also, folks, I gotta tell you, uh, there's a Blu-ray, uh, get a Blu-ray once every month for a year contest going on at WeLiveFilm.com. As you know, I'm a part of it now, and I wanted to let you know about this contest. It's very exciting. Think about it. One Blu-ray or DVD film uh, once a month for a, a year. Like 12, 12 DVDs you don't have to pay for. So they've got that contest going on. Go over to WeLiveFilm.com. Check it out. Also, I want to hear your thoughts. If you've seen Extracted, let me know in comments down below. Uh, and also what films you'd like to see here on uh, The Final Cut. Always looking for suggestions and looking for new stuff to watch and I definitely can get that from feedback from viewers like you. Thank you for your support and remember folks until next time keep that ticket stopped.